coffee. Hey Danny, we didn't get there on time. <laughs> So it is one o'clock, I'm gonna have my first meal, we just barely made our flight. Oatmeal with zucchini, my Eve's Canadian bacon, and I just got coffee with a splash of soy milk at Starbucks. What you eating, Giacomo? Veggie burger. Where'd you get it? New food grill. Yeah, I didn't expect to get a burger like this at the airport. Time to change, man, this thing looks real good. I can't wait to dig into it. We made it, and my six pack bag ended up actually fitting in the luggage. It took up the whole like half of the luggage there, but it made it. Everyone else is at the convention center. I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat. This is my air fried tofu, baked sweet potato and green beans. And I'm gonna put Frank's hot sauce on it, which I always travel with. There's no microwave in the room, so I'm just gonna eat it cold. Sometimes that's how it is when you're traveling and prepping. So. We made it to Chicago. Giacomo read our arrival as our departure and we missed our flight. That's him back there. We got very lucky getting another flight like an hour later for only $150 for both of us. So that was cool. Now we're here, I just ate. And now we're walking over to the convention center to meet the gang. We're talking about micros and macros, answering your questions about burning fat and building muscle and achieving fitness goals on a plant-based diet. I'm currently on competition prep, so that means I need to try and keep my protein pretty high, but my carbs and fats get lower and lower. So I'm specifically looking for protein sources that don't have a ton of carbs or fat along with them. Lentils are, are not only a great source, it's really balanced in carbs, protein, but 
Also, um, lentils are really affordable. It's really good from a micronutrient perspective too. It's equally as important to find out what the heck you eat. You talked about some protein stuff already. I do supplement a little bit. I do a protein shake. I do branch chain amino acids. How you got into the plant-based lifestyle? Grew up in typical Italian household, meatballs, pasta, veal, pork, call it, you name it. Never heard of veganism, didn't know what the word vegan was, and I wanted to get into fitness. Got into fitness as a kid through my music teacher as a composer and also a champion bodybuilder. After I did my first bodybuilding show, someone who was close to me got sick, they had heart disease. I wanted to learn about how to help them. And the more research I did, I, I landed on plant-based you know, plant diet. I figured it'd be a better way for me to perform also as an athlete. Through the community, I eventually met someone who's an animal rescuer, and they helped me make the connection. I still, at this point, I had gone vegan, but I guess I was a plant-based dieter. I'm doing it for my health. I don't have to eat animals or use animals for food, and I can still get the benefits, all the nutrition, and that much more through plants. What I find is that I'm able to recover better, I'm able to perform. You know, the sports that I do are very taxing on my body. As my training age increases, I have more physical demands, and I find that having a diet that is rich in nutrition makes it so that my longevity in the sport will last, and I'll be able to do this for the long term. I have a mission, like I have a purpose. You know, I'm doing this for the animals, I'm doing this for something far more important than myself and I stuck with it. So I think one of the challenges when people transition to going vegan, people think when you go vegan you're, you're restricted. The truth of the matter is you start to really think about what you can eat. I used to just eat Italian food. Now I have Indian food, Ethiopian food, burrito, Spanish food. I eat so much more variety now than I ever have. Fruits, veggies, water. Those are all the things I pick up. And then obviously I, you know, get that in moderation because I want to go out and eat and enjoy myself wherever I travel.